Light and Shuton here today. This is going to be an interesting one, too, I think. I mean, these are two players that we've already had on earlier, similar to Kome and Wadi. So if their set's going to be anything uh, close to what the previous set we just watched was, buckle up your seatbelt, yep. strap yourself in, because we're in for a ride. Okay, so both players taking their time. I mean, it's no no real surprise about what characters they're going to be picking. Of course, it's going to be Fox. Of course, it's going to be Olimar. But as soon as we start game one, that's when all the chips are on the board. Let's find out how Light is going to deal with the wall that Shuton is going to be putting up. Wow, that's a round start. Already Light <laughs> going to get that ledge control. Two jabs put him off stage. He literally ran up to him and just started jabbing. Yeah. Just jabbed in his face. It's funny because when Meme tried to go in and like be aggressive, she was kind of like blew him up for like 100%. And then when Light did it, he's got control and he's got a decent sized lead right now. That's what we call spacey privilege. Yes. <laughs> it's like, damn, Foxy's even that good in this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I like that. Decides to respect the space, throw out lasers to kill the Pikmin, and then try again later. Okay, landing back to stage, and it looks like he's just trying to get uh, some type of conversion. We guess he's the Tomahawk coming out, but the Yellow Pikmin does, in fact, latch. Looks like, uh, yeah. yeah, it looks like Light's trying to land with Nairs, but Chuton's very aware. He gets the up throw with Blue Pikmin. Yeah, since Olimar's so short, it takes a little bit longer for the Nair to actually connect. So he has more time to either parry, like do an anti-air, or just like pivot or something. So. Makes it a little bit difficult. Wow! Whoa, 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 He's at 74% already? I know, with the blink of an eye. And as you can see, just a down tilt. And that's another stock getting sniped out with another purple Pikmin. Dang. Right? I know you like to play aggressive, but you might need to slow it down against Shuton. Yeah. This wall is, in fact, very strong. Woo! <laughs> Two hits, man. 41%. I just can't get over that. Like, the damage output is still so crazy. Okay, Nair's into up tilts. You can just see a down throw into okay. Beating out another up air with the down air of his own shoot on. Sending a message to light. All right, there we go. Tech chase situation, okay. Uses the yellow Pikmin again. Back air, no jump available. Didn't quite get uh, what he was looking for there, I think. No, he was trying to latch the yellow Pikmin on, but the illusion just in fact made quick work of it. Yeah. Drop down up air. He's not light. He's trying to get that back air edge guard. Not quite going to find it, though. I'm not even sure how. They both must have jumped. I think they both jumped at the same they time. But Shuton was like, hey, I have Pikmin. <laughs> not yeah, only do I have, have, a, have the purple Pikmin already. The purple Pikmin, that's exactly, right. Exactly, yeah. So in the very, that game one is just being sort of one-sided towards Shuton. But it looks like our counter pick is going to be Town and City. You know, a bit of a bigger stage. It's going to give Light a little bit more room to work with. What's Light thinking? Whoa. Have you ever seen Light's Falco? I have not. But I just heard someone in the back just <laughs> yell yes. <laughs> someone must this be could, aware of Light's Falco. This could either go really well or really badly. <laughs> It kind of makes sense because we do see, you know, Olimar being one of the more projectile-heavy characters. Yeah. Uh, so having a better reflector is going to work out in his favor. Yeah, I feel like I can see what he's going for. Like, Falco has more long-lasting hitboxes, so he's able to catch uh, the drift and wherever the small character is trying to be. Like, or excuse me, Fox has a great quick hitboxes with his back air, up airs, and stuff like that. So it may be hard to actually uh, detect where. Um, where Olimar would be at that exact time. So he may be trying to just get more hit accuracy. So let's see. And at the same time, you know, Falco has like such a better second jump that he can actually go off stage and challenge the recovery right there, yeah. just like that. Yeah, you can't do that with Fox. No, you, have you, to, can't. you You have to kind of get wait, hope that they land into a back air in there, but too much risk uh, in this particular matchup. Okay, we're going to see a fourth throw. Wow, that was almost enough to put uh, Light into the blast zone. Death? Oh, no, not quite. He didn't have enough time to run down. 
Yeah, very unfortunate. Illusion doesn't cross up anymore, so it does kind of put you right in front. That's yeah. going to be a horrible position for Light to be in. Yeah, not too much damage. Uh, Volmar can make this up in a jiffy. Okay, double up air. Yeah, even converting into a forward air, keeping shoots on offstage, using a second double jump, or a second jump to uh, try and land a forward air as well. Double this illusion. Is a, this is a double shine, too. This is a very interesting uh, Falco, to say the least. Not too many up tilts, too. He's mostly getting like the throw combos instead. Well, that kind of makes sense with, you know, Olimar being such a low character. Yeah. His up tilts may not, in fact, be connecting, so you're not going to be able to get those up tilts into up air conversions. But wow, give him the feathers. That was weird. I think he wasn't in the right position and thought that he would get the purple Pikmin for a tech chase, but he didn't have the right Pikmin or something. Okay, well, that white Pikmin did quick work, and so did that purple Pikmin. I, I, it's, it's so interesting because I feel like even with Falco's like slower frame data, he's still playing like a, I just want to hit you kind of play style with, with Falco, you know? But he's so slow that sometimes I feel like he can, if he makes the wrong decision, then he gets blown up even more than against a character like Fox, for example. Well, he did just, in fact, get blown up. A couple of up smashes and up airs was enough to put Light at a very high percent in that up smash took the game for shoot time putting him up 2-0 over rogue light is that okay i haven't seen him roll up his sleeves in a while oh you're right yeah maybe he's not feeling okay we need the roll up sleeves light. yeah this is not full power light yeah he's like piccolo he's gotta take off the, the <laughs> he armor gotta take off the weighted armor <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh oh okay mars the coach with the, the water with the water <laughs> yeah that, that, that's his mid-set coaching stay hydrated <laughs> what if you could transfer information plant. through water? Piranha plant. Whoa, yeah, that's that's definitely not happening. I think he's going back to the character or the the stage select. Is he gonna run it back to town and city? I don't know. I don't even like after. You okay, can't I, really blame the stage for that loss. To yeah. be fair, honestly, I've seen Light as one of like the biggest character loyalists in the world. So like my whole world is shattered now that he went Falco once. No. 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 No, that's not a spacing. What are you? What? You can hear the mumbling in the crowd too. Like what? Joker? How is no one confused? How are we the only two confused players watching this? Okay, obviously I, Mars must have known about this pick because he doesn't look shook at all. Yeah. But let's see what Light is able to bring with his Joker. I, I, okay. I'm just gonna be. I, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. I don't, I don't trust this at all. Like. You think this is like a Hail Mary pick? He's trying yeah. to use some arson <laughs> shenanigans? Yeah, I think this is super Hail Mary. But you know what? I, I would love to be proven wrong. So let's go ahead and watch this match. Oh, wow. He's already at 117%. That is not good. And arson is out at the same time. So those back airs are going to, in fact, be able to kill. And there goes arson. Yep. I mean, he got some damage out of it. But he's got a purple Pikmin on deck. So we got to be careful here. That's right. You yeah, only need dead. one Pikmin if it's going to be the purple Pikmin. Yeah. Joker's frame data is good, but sometimes his end lag is a little bit committal, so definitely got to be careful about that kind of stuff. Yeah. That dash attack's very committal if it's on whiff. So. Wow, of course, making great use of just only having a single Pikmin. That red Pikmin was able to do an up smash into a double up air and put a ton of damage on the light, but a back throw is going to put Shuton off stage. And with Arsen out, that's going to be a horrible position for Shuton yeah. to be in. Man, you know you're getting bodied when, like, as soon as your stock comes back, then you already get you already got Arsen. It's crazy. It's like, wow. Oh, I didn't get too much off of Arsene either, so. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, actually, oof. did it. Oof. Wow, and I actually killed too. Unfortunate. I don't know about this Joker pick, Sedge. I mean, I already started off the match not knowing about this Joker pick, so, like, okay. He's got a, he's got an edge guard. He can back here. Yeah, drifting back, using the gun to get a little bit more distance closer to Shuton. Shuton definitely not expecting that, but let's see if uh, that's shaking Shuton up any bit. Yeah, I can definitely see the logic. Like every time, like a, a Pikmin hits him, he can rebels guard it and then like get damage and all that. Like I feel like Shuton is very comfortable in this matchup though, just by watching it. Definitely looks like that. But he's still stuck at the ledge, so Light's got a little bit of an opportunity. Oh, and going so deep, it looked like. Oh, that's gonna be a regrab, but going very high, very smart. Yeah, that was from good. Rogue Light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have a game. <laughs> we have a game, Sedge. Uh, he's gonna run out of meter though, so he's gotta come back for it. By that time, it's gonna by naturally, it's gonna be like 140 percent. So he's got a rebel guard, a Pikmin, or something. I mean, he has a Pikmin on him. This is the opportunity to get a rebel guard, but I don't think he has a double jump. 
able to latch onto the ledge. And, ooh, ooh that's it. Okay. Guard. We okay. got a game. We got a game. <laughs> we have a game. 128%, 11%, about even percents, but Never that mind. up throw is going to kill. Yeah, I thought we had something here. I thought I, I really we thought did. we had something. We did have a game until that <laughs> grab landed. It was like there was a spark, and then they just took it away. Like they threw water on top of the spark. <laughs> Damn. Well, 